Alright, hey guys, we got a little quick tutorial for today. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to edit DS game save files. Today we're going to be, or transfer them to your computer without a flashcard. Today we're going to be doing Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, why? Because this is a game I had trouble backing up before. So we're just going to transfer the save file to our PC, maybe we'll edit it, and then we'll throw it back on the cartridge. So um, first thing you want to do is have your cartridge in your 3DS. And again, you don't need any flash cartridge for this. All you need is some way to run Homebrew, uh, custom firmware, or just an exploit game. So as you can see right here, I have Pokemon Soul Silver. So let's go ahead and go over to the application. Which is called TWL Save Tool. Again, if you're running, if you're not don't have custom firmware, you can still run this using um, Homebrew. You just gotta launch the app through Homebrew. All right. So once you go ahead and start it up, it will give you some important information, which is the information we will need moving on. So uh, you can't really see it very well, but up here at the top we have the statistics of the game. It says Pokemon Soul Silver on the first line. It has the game code on the second line. On the third line it says 512 or 512 kilobit. Um, that is important, so we'll need to remember that for later. Just bring that down anywhere, or if you're using Soul Silver as well, it's 512. All we need to do is actually just go ahead and back up the game. So as you can see here on the screen, there's a bunch of different buttons. Uh, we're gonna press B for backup game. We get a little progress bar, and it should say be done in a second. It says reading save file 100%, and it says done. Press start to exit, or Y to restart. Uh, if you run in homebrew version, the button prompts at the end when you're done. It might be a little bit different, but I'm just going to go ahead and press start the exit. Alright, and now at this point what you want to do is um, eject your S turn off your 3DS and eject your SD card, and then just go ahead and put it in your computer. But I'm just going to FTP into my 3DS since that's a little bit faster, and so I can show everything on camera. So once you have it, you'll want to find a folder called TWL Save. And once you have that folder, that means you're in the right place. So if you didn't press any other buttons than the ones I told you, your save file should be called whatever the Pokemon's, uh, whatever the game's name was, or Pokemon SS dot zero dot save. And you'll notice the save file is 512 kilobytes. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and copy this to whatever folder we're gonna be working in. In this case, this is my tests folder. So we copied it, and now let's go ahead and see if it will, will be able to load up the save file. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is, if you wanna test your save file, you need to make sure your ROM backup and your game save file have the exact same name. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to rename this so I can get the full name, copy. And now I go over here and rename it. They both have the same name, except one ends in .nds and one ends in .save. So just go ahead and find any DS emulator. Go ahead and load up your game. All right, so as you can see right now, it's not actually, our save file is not being loaded because it's not in a proper format. So we can go ahead and say import backup memory and see if that works. It should automatically detect all the proper information, hopefully. And there we go. Okay, so now that we imported our thing. All right, so now that means our save file is in the proper format. All right, now that we got our save file and we tested to make sure it works, and we're going to load it up in PokeGen, or try to load it up in PokeGen. I had to switch programs because the other program I was going to try didn't end up working. So let's go ahead and start up PokeGen. All right, and go to File, Open. And let's try this, Pokemon SS, the save file we just loaded up. And there we go, there's our Pokemon, and they're successfully imported. So as you can see, we have little animations. So what should we do? Let's put a new Pokemon in our box. Um, let's go to box five. All right, so I have a Celebi. Let's go ahead and add a new guy. Ribbon Master. All right, now we've generated our Pokemon. So I have no idea how to put this actually in the box now. I guess we'll set, there we go, okay. So just right click and say set. This is my first time ever editing anything. All right, let's go ahead and save the file. And now we have, here's our backup save file and here's our new one. All right, so now we have our new save file. Let's go ahead and put it back on our flash cartridge. Here we go. So we're going to copy over our save file to here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to rename it when it comes in. As you can see here, we have Pokemon SS Zero. So we're going to take this name. You can just click rename to get the name. And then copy. Then we're going to rename this to Pokemon SS and change it from zero to one. So they'll be separate on the actual SD card. All right. Now we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and go back to our thing. Let's, we have to close this up so we can quit the FTP server. And if you're not using FTP and you're just using your files, go ahead and just put your SD card back in your 3DS and go ahead and start it up. All right, now go back to your save transfer tool. All right, now we're back at this funky menu. So uh, it should automatically have Pokemon selected at the bottom. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go ahead and scroll over with the arrow keys. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, it says zero down there. So we're gonna change that to a one. A to restore save file, and now we get a little progress bar going. All right, and it says press start to exit. Let's go ahead and exit. All right, now we're going to go ahead and load up the game real quick. Pokemon Neo Silver, and we're going to search the box for our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and start it up. All right, in the meantime, if you want to transfer a save file to or from an SD card, you may have to do some conversion. So if you want to convert a save file from a flash cartridge to this format that your little 3DS will use, then you'll want to say source format is R4, which is over here, and then you want to say your target format is, and then over here you'd pick the size that you're using. So for Pokemon it'll be 512, for some other games it'll be 256, whatever that number was at the top of your screen when you had the card in for your save transfer, that's what file size you'd use. Because you have to force it, otherwise it may end up being the wrong size. If you want to transfer your save file from one of these, um, from a backup on your 3DS to a flash cartridge, what you do is you say raw format, which is at the top, and then you go ahead and say target format, and then you say, say R4. So we're we'll going to go ahead and try that right now. We're going to go ahead and load up Pokemon, convert to R4 format. In the meantime, while that's going, box four, and there's our Onyx. Let's look at the summary real quick. Adamant Nature, Strong Willed, and his attacks are Agility, Aerial Ace, Aqua Jet, and Egg Bomb. Very nice. Unfortunately, he's not shiny. I'm not sure why that didn't work, but as you can see, it was able to, we were able to actually get this thing working. So yep, that's how you do it. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to move over your converted save file. We have our converted save file right here. We converted it from this raw format to uh, whatever, R4 format. So I have my R4 um, SD card in here. All right, and now we have, let's go ahead and just copy, drag and drop the save file into my backup that has my, my folder that has my backup of Pokemon Soul Silver in it. And it says, do you want to overwrite a save file? I already have a save file on here. Let's go ahead and say overwrite. Okay, and all right, and because this R4 card requires all your save files be called .nds.save. We're just going to go ahead and rename it real quick. So we're renaming that we want. We just copied to .nds.save. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and load it up on our R4. And there we go, there's our save file, as you can see. And it loads up just fine. We were able to convert our save file from this cartridge to an, the format with the card without having to use any special hardware or anything. So that's cool. Our save file is now safely on here. We, we have it on here. So we're pretty much good to go. Alright, just to prove this on the cartridge. 
we'll be back at the menu and it shows you that I am using the flash cartridge. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was just me showing you how to convert your save files which is the last thing we're going to cover. Again, if you want to convert it back, the same process in reverse. You say source format R4 if you're coming from an R4 and you want to convert it to the um, transfer program we're using. So you say R4 up here and then you pick whatever save file your um, card uses. Again, Pokemon uses 512 as I showed in the video. At the very top it says save size and that's the type, the one you pick. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see my last video, it was on a CSGO butterfly knife in real life. I did a review of that. There's a video on the left. Uh, for, or if you want to see more videos with modding in them, just go ahead and click the video on the right to be taken to the modding playlist. Social media links are down below as well as links to the songs used in this video. Alright, see you guys later.